As 2023 Easter celebration approaches, the people of Oweke community in the Carnot East local government area of Delta State were gifted with food items, which includes bags of rice, cartons of Indomie noodles in their dozens, and a cow. By an illustrious son of Owa, the CEO Fountainhead Resort Hotel, Deacon Collins Ngozi Chuku Melikwe. The event, headed by the Okmara of Oweke community, Pa Vincent Melikwe, had the presence of elders and stakeholders of Oweke community amongst women and youths. The representative of the donor, Dane Kama of Agbo Kingdom, Chief Kesta Egiliwebi Utebo, accompanied by Mr. Chamberlain, were warmly received by Chief Okirigwe of Owa, who showered encomium on the donor. The purpose of the visit was disclosed to the elders and members of Oweke community, after which introductions were made and a plate of cola notes was presented to representatives of the benefactor. <laughs> After Chief Kesta received the cola notes, as custom and tradition demands, the cola notes were then taken to the Okmara of Oweke community, Pa Vincent Melikwe, for prayers of blessings. Okay, Shortly after his prayers, the plate of cola nuts was then passed around amongst elders and representatives as drinks were also served. Followed was the offloading of the food items from the van for onward distribution alongside a cow presented to members of a wiki community. <laughs> Some beneficiaries who could not contain their joy expressed gratitude to the donor in their own words.
A friend to Collins who stood for him, Chief Kester Egiliwebi, described the act as a show of love from a man of a large heart to his people, added that given habit is in the lineage of Melekwe family. Okay, one of our illustrious sons, a great philanthropist, a giver of high repute, uh, they can call him Ngozi Melikwe, is just showing love to his people, the people of Awiki. Uh, what really inspired him, if you look at the lineage of uh, uh, the Melikwe's, you know they are born givers, most likely the late father, Chief Melikwe is a great man, he's a notable giver in this uh, our society. I think it's genetic. So the Belvoir Spirit started from their lineage. This same time last year, he did something like this. So now, now he's doing another one. Uh, so it's an annoying friend to him. He used the medium to urge other illustrious sons and daughters of a car kingdom to emulate what the King Collins Ngozi Chuku Melikwe has done. He therefore passed the people's message across to the benefactor. I'm using this opportunity to tell our illustrious uh, sons or uh, children of uh, our great uh, Eka kingdom to show benevolence because there is nothing as good as giving. <laughs> when you give, you receive. Bible said it is more blessed to give than to receive. Collins Melikwe is a giver with high repute. May the Almighty God continue to protect him in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, and the elders and the women of this committee, even the youths, they are overwhelmed. You can see all of them here. Yeah. They are very happy. You see mothers, all of them are tripping him to pick up their rice. And you see the bags of rice, the Indomie, you see the cattle, all of them are uh, here. In short, I cannot quantify how happy they are. The message they are asking me to pass to our brother, they can call him uh, Ngozi Melikwe, <laughs> is uh, prayers. Wishing him long life, good health in all his endeavors. Speaking with the elder sister to the donor, Mrs. Emily Melikwe, who described him as a man with a good heart of sharing, she advised the beneficiaries to be appreciative and remember him in their prayers. I describe myself somebody who is really nice, he has a good heart to share. He's a man who does not want to eat alone as he gets his share. Furthermore, call on other well-to-do individuals to follow suit of such kind gesture as she pray for longevity for her brother. Well, the advice I have for them is that take whatever they have seen, take it with good hearts. They should go pray for him so that more will be coming. All the rest of them should start emulating. They should not forget the poor. If you are blessed, always remember people around you. Share. By the time we start doing like this, we will wipe up poverty in our society. I pray for my brother that God should give him long life to declare his glory. That's my prayer. The food items were evenly distributed amongst the people, quarter by quarter, under the supervision of Chief Okirigwe of Owa Kingdom, as assigned by Chief Kester Egiliwebi Utebo. We have given to the mother, we are given to the, some of the Okpanukus, and we are giving to some uh, uh, the the sister. So we are doing it just accordingly, okay. eh? bit by bit. Okay. So it will reach everybody, okay. both the strangers in Oweke, all of them will get. The presentation of the food items in Oweke community has become an annual gesture provided by the MD Fountainhead Resort Hotel 
in Oweke, Dickin Collins Ngozi Chuku Melikwe to cushion the effect of the country's hardship on the people, thereby demand for a wake-up call to other well-meaning Nigerians to do likewise as it would go a mile to make the world a better place. Reporting from Oweke Community, Sandra Obwe, PMTV News. <laughs> Keep watching PMTV Africa. Keep watching PMTV Africa. Keep watching PMTV Africa. I'm giving a shout out to PMTV People's Mind. Hi guys, keep watching PMTV Africa. Hey everybody, keep watching PMTV. From Toronto, PMTV. Don't touch that guy. Hey guys, keep watching PMTV. Nigerians, wherever you are, what are you in Nugu, Lagos, Abuja? Keep on watching. People's Mind Television, BMTV.